What is up you guys? It is Young Africana back at it again with another video and today I have my beautiful client slash model. I'll be showing you guys how I installed this wig from start to finish. This hair was provided by Ali Pearl. I have their 13 by 4 frontal wig in Brazilian straight and 16 inches. So if you guys want to purchase that, the link is down below in my description box. Um, but starting off, I'm going to be bringing her hair in straight back. So you want to make sure that the braids are nice and small and pretty much flat. Like as long as it's flat, it's fine. So these are the infamous Meek Millies. As you guys can see, they're nice and flat and ready to go, baby girl. So you guys, this is the wig after I finished customizing it. The wig does come pre-plucked, but I decided to pluck it just a little bit more and also bleach it as well. Um, as you guys can see, my knots are a little over bleached. But that is very fixable and right now I'm going ahead and going in the back and just cutting off that excess lace in the back as well. But yeah, this video was pretty much about you, you know, fixing your mistakes because there were a lot of mistakes that I did make. But they are easily fixable, you guys. I also went ahead and went in the back of um, the nape area where the adjustable straps are just to adjust um, the wig just so it can fit her head better. Now I'm going ahead and carving out her ear tabs just to cut around her ear. This is very crucial you guys, you guys want to make sure that you do this especially for my beginners because this can make or break your install. You don't want your lace covering your ear, okay? So yes, cut off the air tabs. I made sure I cut where there was only lace at. If you see the adjustable strap, please avoid it and just cut where the lace is at. So yeah, um, we're gonna do that to both ears, of course. I'm not just gonna do it to one ear. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put on this wig cap on her head. Yes, it's a light, I know, but we're gonna go ahead and put makeup over it to match her skin tone. But right now what I'm going to do is also cut out the ear tabs on this bad boy as well. This is, I feel like it has a better fit. And also too, you can get all the creases and crevices around her ear when we're using the got to be spray on her head. Now this is one of the mistakes that I have made. So it wasn't really on my part, it wasn't my fault you guys. So I'm over here spraying the got to be spray on her head. And like all of a sudden, all the spray just come crashing down onto her eyebrow. And I'm like, bro, I'm pretty sure I sprayed it on her hairline. But um, this is one of the mistakes that I did end up fixing. So what I'm doing right now, I'm spraying it, you know, over here. think I'm doing something. Clearly, I ain't doing nothing. Um, but yeah, I'm just over here spraying it and everything just came crashing down her face. So I'm going to show you guys in the next clip what I did to fix it. So before I fixed it, I went ahead and um, got some sewing thread and also my needle. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going across around the crown of her head from ear to ear. And I'm sewing that down just because I know I'm not going to keep the whole entire cap on. And I'm going to be cutting it. So this avoids the cap to, you know, just be all over the place. You want it to keep it neat and keep it cute. So I'm just using that so I can, I can be able to cut off anything that's behind where I sewed.
So yes, I'm over here using my blow dry just to make sure everything is dry before I come and be, you know, Captain Save Cap and, you know, doing my thing and trying to fix this problem. Because clearly this is a problem and we got to fix it. So alright, <laughs> I went ahead and I used my bold hold glue. Yes, I went to, I went to use the bold hold glue, you guys. And I'm going to put it all around the perimeter where her hairline starts at. And I'm just going to be um, using that and I'm going to use my popsicle stick and I'm just going to smear it down. You only need one coat. One coat would do it good. And you just want to make sure that everything is tacked down. As you guys can see right here, I'm using my popsicle stick and I'm just going to go around the perimeter of her hairline just so that I know that it's secure and the cap is not going to go anywhere. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my blow dryer and just dry that until it turns clear. And I repeat, do not do anything until the glue is completely clear. I'm telling you, I've done it before and you don't want to do it well as wet because I'm telling you, it ain't going to be cute, mommy thaw. So yes, make sure it's nice and dry. The blow dryer is supposed to speed up the process, so hopefully this speed up a little bit for me and for y'all too. But yeah, um, yeah, just keep on drying until it turns clear. Now I'm going ahead and using my scissors. I'm going to cut in the middle first and I'm going to go side by side. And um, this is kind of like the little difficult part a little bit. So you want to braise up wherever the spray went all over just so you're able to cut it. I try to do it as gentle as possible because it's not a gentle task guys. But yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing that until I get to where the glue is at and I'm just going to cut around the perimeter. Pretty simple, you know, simple stuff, you guys. Nothing crazy. Now I'm going to cut off all of that excess cap on the back and I'm going to use my concealer. I just use the regular concealer. I use a Born to um Born This Way concealer. I forgot what color like what ugh. I can't even speak right now, you guys. I don't even know what color I use, but I just use something that's near her skin tone. And um yeah, I'm just gonna use a regular buffer brush, buff that on, da da da, -da you know the regular. Now I'm going in with 91% isopropyl, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it starts with an I, alcohol. I'm going in with 91% alcohol and I'm just going around her perimeter just to make sure that all the makeup and all the residue on her face, it's gone. All the oils, all the natural oils as well are gone because this is what helps your frontal last long, y'all. Now I'm using the bold hold glue this is the regular one I'm not using the bow tooth active I'm just using the regular glue and I'm just doing little dots all around the perimeter and I'm gonna use my popsicle stick like how I did when I was tacking on the cap and I'm just gonna smear it down you kind of want to make sure you have some width on there so um, I'm trying to go as far back on the cap as possible because this is one of the reasons as to why um, sometimes your lace end up lifting very fast is because the width of the glue um, is not enough. And I learned this from my sis Erica J. Like that, she is the truth, y'all. Like that's that's all I watch when it comes to hair is Erica J. Like she really taught me about this frontal life, and like me doing this technique changed the whole entire game for me. And like I feel more confident in doing frontals now, even when I mess up. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use that same concealer that I use on her head onto the cap 
and by the way so the amount of layers that I've used of glue are three layers I use three layers of glue you want to make sure that each layer dry completely before you even put on the next layer because it's like foundation like if the bricks ain't good in the house everything's gonna come crashing down so you want to make sure that everything is dry before you put on your next coat of glue I promise you you're gonna love me for this thank you <laughs> drops mic nah but yeah all right so now I'm going to go ahead and just tack on that front toe wig y'all and you want to make sure that your hairline or the hairline on the wig is in front of the um of the glue or right where the glue is at you don't want it before because I'm telling you you're gonna end up with mad lace on top of your head and it's gonna look crazy I'm telling you um, so yes, I'm gonna go ahead and have my client hold on both sides just so I know everything is secure And while she's doing that, I'm gonna go um, with my uh, Blow dryer on medium heat and I'm gonna blow that on and then also use my got to be spray Just to give it extra security and extra melt as well And then I'm gonna go back in with my blow dryer and just blow that and use my um, rat tail comb to really like press down the smudge in that glue Now I went ahead and used an elastic band um, just to help uh, press down the glue and I'm just going to leave it on while I go ahead and flat iron and kill two birds in one stone. So I'm going to just let that sit and I'll be using my Garnier Fructis flat iron um, spray and I'm just going to spray that on her, on her hair while I'm flat ironing and the flat iron I do have is the Babyliss Nano Titanium flat iron and I believe it's the one inch one. Um, I have both of them, which is a one inch and a one and a half inch one. So I'm using a one inch one right now. And I'm just gonna go track by track, flat iron her hair. I'm pretty sure everybody know how to flat iron their hair, but for my people that don't, I'm just using the trace method, which is the comb in front of the flat iron. I'm just gonna trace it down. This will guarantee you sleekness. You feel me? But yes, and I'm gonna go ahead and just go onto where the frontal area is at as well and flat iron her hair for the most flattest and sleekest results. Now I'm removing the elastic band and I'm going to go ahead and cut three sections so one for the middle and then two for the sides so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use my razor just to cut off the um lace and this is what will guarantee you like the most natural results is you using a razor um instead of like a scissors because it would give you more of that jackety you know roughed i don't even know how to explain what the hell is a roughed you guys but um yeah most jagged type of um outcome and I, that's what you want you don't want the thing straight across from your head because you're gonna look crazy you feel me and also to a little disclaimer yes i know the lace is a little light one my um camera is picking up these weird hues of colors i don't know why it looks a lot better in person secondly too you want to make sure that your lace is a probably a shade lighter than your client skin tone and i'm gonna tell you why in a second so um the reason why you want it to be a little bit lighter is in front of a ring light it's a lot different than how it looks like in real life like underneath different lights so just know different lighting means different hues of your lace and I would rather my lace look a little bit lighter than a little bit darker and in natural lighting it looks it looks more natural and matches her skin tone more than how it does under a ring light and she ain't gonna be under a ring light for a week and a half you feel me so with that being said um that's what also baby hairs are used for as well so um even though it's picking up these weird hues um we're gonna melt it more when i use the mousse and everything so baby girl don't worry about this um don't try to leave no negative comments either because i will come for your ass you feel me anyways back to things that matter most um I'm going to go ahead and take out a row of her hair in the front of the perimeter. This is where all my baby hair is going to be at, you feel me? And I'm just going to go ahead and just take them out and then use my uh, 
hot comb and I'm gonna hot comb um, her hair that's in front and also the hair on the back as well. Now I'm going ahead and parting the part. I wanted the part in the middle, so I'm parting it in the middle. And I'm gonna just use my um, hot comb just to flatten out that area. Now I'm just using these small little baby scissors just to cut off um, my baby hairs. You want your baby hairs to be at least like an inch and if you want to cut it shorter you can cut it shorter um, but I prefer starting off with an inch because again your frontal can grow so I'd rather you start long and if you feel like it's too long then cut them shorter. But I'm just going to cut that all around the perimeter at least one inch and then I'm going to go ahead and use my Nairobi mousse as well as my rat tail comb and I'm gonna go ahead and form these baby hairs. Now the key to success when it comes to these baby hairs is be gentle. Now, before I used to be like, yo, why is my lace keep on lifting up? Like, I'm tired of this shit, da 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 da. I used to go mad hard, you guys. Makes me tight. But um, baby hairs don't come overnight. Like, you do have to practice your craft and be very light-handed, because I'm a very heavy-handed person, and you just have to be really, really light. Um, one thing I also noticed too is that using a rat tail comb is a lot better than using like the baby hair, like the small baby hair combs. More so because um, it's a lot bigger so like, I don't have to explain it, like you're not putting so much force and like there's not like sharpness on the, um, on the rat tail comb for it to lift up your lace while you're smoothing it. So that's one thing I noticed because my lace didn't lift up at all for the first time since me using um, the rat tail comb. So please use a rat tail comb, it's very beneficial. Also to use a lot of mousse as well. Not too much, but be generous, okay? So with that being said, just use a lot just so the baby hairs won't be forced into places that they don't wanna go. The mousse is supposed to help you, not hurt you, you guys. And one more tip, make sure that your mousse that you're using is alcohol free. Like I said earlier, the mousse I'm using is the Nairobi mousse you can get off of Amazon, uh, the beauty supply store, wherever you can get it. Make sure it is alcohol free because the alcohol will lift up your frontal. So just another disclaimer. Now I went ahead I used this silk scarf and I put it around. It cut off while um, I was putting it on so I couldn't catch it on camera. But yeah, I'm just going to tie that around and I'm also combing out the hair just making sure that every strand is out that I need for when we cut this bob. So we get into the fun part where we're cutting off this bob you guys. So again, you want to make sure your hair is nice and straight. There's no kinks and no, you know, curls in it. So when you're cutting it, you get the true length of the hair. Now as my guide, I'm just using my comb and I'm just going to go ahead and shave off the hair while I'm doing that. Um, this method personally helps with me. Some people, you know, do it like that instead, but I just like to do it and then wherever I clean up at, I'll clean up at. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter just like that. Very simple, very easy. You might have to go in a couple of times because again, I like to start off long and then probably get shorter if my client wants a shorter bob which we did end up getting shorter but it was just more trial and error and just keep on cutting to where it gets even so just keep on cutting and also too, I prefer for you guys to start at the back and then go to the front just so that you know it's even now again I'm going track by track um, just to flat iron the hair and to give it a little bump and while I'm doing that I'm just gonna clean up any mistakes that I did make when cutting and just cut it um, even more evenly <laughs> even more evenly but yeah so um, yeah I suggest for you guys to do this if you want the bluntest and nicest cut bob so yeah just I'm just going in for you know 
you know, double checking you guys, as math teachers would say. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm going in with my blow dryer and I'm just gonna blow um, the front of her hair just to make sure that um, that hair, um, well, the baby hairs are nice and dry. You wanna make sure that your baby hairs are fully dry before you take off um, the silk wrap. And as you guys can see, she is looking late, mamita. And we're not even done yet. So right now I'm going in with my um, hot comb. And again, I'm just going to go in with it um, just to make it more flat and more seamless. Now I'm just going in with the high beams root coverage and this is where I'm going to fix my mistakes. What I'm doing right now is using the middle part of my rat tail comb and putting it in the middle of where my middle part is at. And I'm just going to be doing short bursts of spray on um, this spray. Um, it is a root coverage so it does help just for grays but also too just in case it be messed up and have some bleach that seep onto the roots. As you guys can see it doesn't even look like I even messed up with the bleaching everything is fixed it's fixable and you can do this you got this mamita just because you messing doesn't mean that you can't fix it and now i'm just going ahead and i'm going to comb out those baby hairs because i'm not a big fan of the whole crunchy baby hair i like my baby hairs nice and soft like my booty you feel me <laughs> but nah yeah for real though i'm just going to go ahead and um comb out those baby hairs just to give it a nice natural and fluffy look Now I'm going in with the Kara Kara um, wax stick and I'm just going to put that all over her hair just to tame all the flyaways that we're trying to, you know, escape. Uh-uh. I'm going to catch your ass. <laughs> Yo, I really have to chill. But no, but yeah, um, this is pretty much the finished result of how the hair looks. As you guys can see, it's looking nice and flawless. So this is just a representation as, listen, it doesn't matter if you mess up. It's how you finish, you dig? But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just continue to comb out and fix and you know, just make her more fabulous than how she already is. And this is the final result, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Click that bell notification next to my name to make sure you get the drop before the drop even drop, you feel me? But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this very in-depth tutorial. Comment down below what videos you guys would like to see. And I will catch y'all in the next segment. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.